going to set your desk, it's playable.com. Uh, I didn't do my hair and I'm ferociously sweating. <laughs> but I'm sitting next to one of my absolute idols, completely obsessed with her. Can I just literally met her five minutes ago, completely obsessed with her this close. Hey, Valerie Harper. <laughs> I'm going to act like I'm totally you're, relaxed. You're so sweet. It's all Thanks, good. Seth. I'm so happy to be here. And it's so warm out today. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> okay, now a lot of people do not know Valerie began in the musical theater. Okay, my first question when did the dance training begin? How old? Oh, I was about five. Were you a ballerina? I'm a ba ballet dancer. Yeah, my mom. Oh my God, and I did so many recitals. My mother, it, later on, I did tap. So she would write a little silver lame bodice, royal blue I had a very outfits. similar outfit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do it tea for two. Yeah, and two. Oh, oh, chestnuts. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then danced on Broadway. And one of the things I'm most obsessed with, you guys, get the Mary Tyler Moore season one. DVD, because at the end there's special footage of Valerie winning her first Emmy Award, and it's so moving because Lucille Ball presents it to her, and Valerie comes on stage and she's like, oh my god, Lucy, I dance in the chorus of Wildcat, and it's just so amazing to be like, chorus dancer, TV star Emmy, it's, it's, literally, I was watching, I was like, oh my god, it's I my know. dream. And that Lucy was presenting it. It's, can with, you believe I think it? Bob Hope, I think, was with her. The Lucy history. Incredible. Okay, Lucy. talk to me about Lucy, any amazing Wildcat stories, go. Oh, sure. Uh, one night, uh, there was a little Yorkie in the show that did a, 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 a crossover with Lucy and, the, and Paula Stewart, who played her sister, mm -hmm. and they crossed over the stage while our dance number was preparing. And the dog, for some reason, stopped center stage and did a little minute, but definitely a business. And uh, they walked on, and, and the audience is laughing, and so forth. And Lucy had the presence of mind. She said, oh my god, the Mexican hat dance is next. With the hats down and a lot of stamping and so forth. He said, and the girls come way down stage in white dresses. So she said, so she grabbed a dustpan with a handle, you know, that type they use. From one of the stage managers, I guess. Yeah, yeah, right from the sides. Give quick, give me something. She went out with the broom and this, this, uh, state, this, this, it's a dustpan with a handle on it so she could stand up. She ducked. Put the little poopy. She herself? She herself went out in her costume as, as you know, in the middle of the show and picked it up and she, and the audience is laughing and carrying on. She looks out front and says, um, next time I'll read the small print in my contract and walked off. It was fabulous. Absolutely incredible. And, and the I. The audience screamed? Oh, they screamed. They couldn't stop. And then, of course, we did our uh, little Mexican hat number. And, and it was okay. And there was addresses. no Yorkie poofy. Yeah. Um, speaking of dirty things, okay, so the Tulu Banquet, now tell me, you're going on tour with the show, right? correct? Well, we're definitely going to Toronto. We know that we owe uh, the theaters up there. They were uh, investors in the show. Uh, ten week, a ten week run. Delicious. So what we'll do, sit yes, down. What we'll do, Seth, is, yeah, sit down, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll cobble together other cities that have expressed interest and make a tour out of it. It won't be right away because you, you know. Well, it's kind of really good play forever because she's aging, so it doesn't even matter. You know, you can just oh, play oh, for the that, next 20 years. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I'm just saying. Now, you know Valerie was nominated for a well-deserved Tony Award. Now, by the way, first Tony nomination? Uh, yes. What if, I love Emmy Award winner, first Tony nomination. Interesting. <laughs> okay, how did you find out? Uh, four t four, I have four Emmys. I could have a coffee table. But anyway, I'm, not, I'm just the nomination is so thrilling because it validates that we were here. The show was hilarious. But are you one of those people that are like, I just waited for my agent to call me and he happened to wake me up? Were you no, like watching? No, no, no. We were watching. Excellent. I, my husband is the lead producer of the show, so we got up. We're watching it, and that lovely Patrick Kiernan, I think his name is. The New York one. Yeah, yeah. The news guy he said he said uh, no, t Tony nominations at 8:30. At 8:15, he said. We will not do it live because of the bomber in Times Square. They're doing a press thing, whatever. Why does real life have to so fear? So we rushed over to the computer. I don't do well on the computer at all. My husband's pretty good, mediocre. And he gets it up, and, we, and there we are, and there's a little thin strap, and we can't hear. And finally, oh God. and we can't, and it froze, and uh, no, we're going to, yeah, it was incredible. Finally, he says, sorry. And finally, he says, I've got it. And it was very skinny, and Jeff Daniels is about this big, and you hear his voice saying, and for best actress in a, in a play, Viola Davis, Valerie Harper, and we screamed. we screamed. I didn't even hear the other three nominees who turned out to be a friend, Linda Lavin, and then, of course, wonderful Laura Linney and uh, Jan Maxwell. But I found that out later, but we were shrieking, jumping up and down. So sweet. It was great. It really was. What are you wearing? Great. Who are you wearing? Pamela Rowland, and she's wonderful and does all sorts of fabulous, really glamorous chiffon kind Is of it stuff. Cut down to here and up it, to Well, there, it's nicely. Say. No, no, age appropriate, baby. <laughs> no, I mean, it's really. You well, still it's got okay. it. It's okay, and it's a beautiful gown. And I put the earrings from Chopard are 
hundreds of thousands of dollars. But isn't the kind of energy you have to have an armed guard around you at all times? I might. I don't know. Who is What's this energy? I don't know. Uh, that he may, he'll stand off to the side, I think. That would convince me to unbutton this. This was me before the interview. Hello, I'm a nerd. <laughs> she said. Yes, I said. Yeah, I didn't say you were a nerd, but that is the look. No. Yeah, nerds do that. I think that's yeah, just a relaxed. It doesn't look like you're trying to show. And you do have a lovely body. I can feel it. I, I don't think the camera heard you say that. What was that? You have a lovely body. Mm. I can feel it. <laughs> and cut. Speaking of feeling it. Okay, so like I said, there. I want to have categories for Tonys that do not exist, and I'm nominating Valley Harper for funniest line. This line. A, made me laugh hysterically because it was so unexpected, the joke. Then B, I repeated it nonstop when I was at the gym, and all the trainers love it as well. Okay. So um, I'd like you to repeat. This is, uh, she is Tallulah Bankhead. I'm going to play Tallulah Bankhead now. So if you hear a little vocal damage, it's because it's how Tallulah spoke. Okay. A little strokey. <laughs> and, and also smokes a lot. And I'm uh, her friend in a recording session commenting because I'm a little uptight, a.k.a. just to make it appropriate. Oh, that's right. You, he's the uptight, uptight film editor who's trying to get this line. And I'm interrupting him constantly. Just babbling. So finally, we're talking about uh, that I shouldn't drink, and I'm drinking, and he tells me why. Um, you know, drinking is bad for you. Oh, I don't I know it. What I drink? Oh, my poor legs. You swell? No, open. How unexpected is that? And how much can I identify in my twenties? Anywho, please say brava, Valerie Harper. Thank you, thank you. This is so much fun. Peace out.